what is up youtube welcome welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this like pink shimmer lip gloss and this is like a little swatch of it so we're gonna get started with a bowl and obviously gloves make sure you have gloves my loves because you know it's just for sanitary purposes you're making lip gloss for other people now if it's for yourself that's fine we're gonna need a bowl and i would prefer using a glass bowl i just feel like it mixes better and then you're gonna be needing obviously lip gloss tubes and i got this from amazon you are also going to be needing another bowl and further in the video i will be explaining why now you're just gonna add the versagel to your bowl as much as you like however you like to however amount you would like to put on the bowl i really just eye it i don't measure it since i've been doing lip gloss for quite a while i know which amount i need and i'm gonna be using tkb trading versa gel and on the next bowl this is what you want to do you want to apply whatever oil you are using so i'm using coconut oil and you just want to put it on the bowl if you're using coloring um you don't have to do this but if you are using pigments i really recommend to do this now i'm going to be adding vitamin e you know just a little bit moisture for the lips um after me using this i feel like the lip gloss is just so much better so i recommend using this and we're just going to be adding nine millimeters of the vitamin e oil by using a pipette make sure you are measuring this because you do not want to add too much and now i'm going to be using this spatula and let you guys know but everything that i use i do rinse it out with soap even if it's new because you never know if it has any bacterias in the store and now this is the pigment that i'm going to be using and i'm gonna just put a little bit and i feel like i added too much but you know it's okay now we're just gonna mix in and what you want to mix this very well like you want to mix this very well make sure there is no clumps of the pigment and just keep on mixing and mixing until you get like the right consistency and I, honestly i really love this color i'm so in love with this pigment the lip gloss is, is just so cute so on camera it does look different but it's really pink in person so now we're just gonna apply it onto the versa gel and basically this is just oil with pigment and the reason why i recommend doing this is because the pigment mixes in better with the oil than applying the pigment to the versa gel and i see that a lot of people do that and honestly it gets me mad because y'all should be mixing it with the oil but it's okay because i used to do it like that too but now I'm making th things differently and i'm learning each day so this is what i'm this is the new method that i'm going to be using for now on so this lip gloss is a little bit thin and the reason why is because this was meant to be a lip oil so this lip gloss did become a little thin because i added too much oil but on purpose like i said i just wanted this to be like a lip oil so the lip gloss is kind of thin but anyways this is how it's gonna look like and you want to make sure that you get a right consistency you want to make sure that you are mixing and mixing and mixing until you get the right consistency and texture As you can tell in this part, the lip gloss is starting to form. As you can see, it's like a little lines, like swirly lines. That means it's because it's ready. And now the lip gloss is, you know, done mixing because now you can actually see the pigment. So whatever you saw the pigment on the oil, that's what you should see on the lip gloss. And as you can tell, the lip gloss is very runny, which I love. I love lip oils like this. I don't like it too thin and not too thick it's just basically in the middle i love it so i'm just going to be adding a little bit more of versa gel i honestly think it was a little bit too thin 
so I just added a little bit more and then I mixed it and then until I got the right consistency that I wanted. After mixing so long, you want to mix in before you add any type of glitter or like anything like strawberries, butterflies. So I'm going to be using this um, holographic butterfly that I purchased off from eBay and I'll be leaving the link down below so you can purchase as well. And I did add a lot because there was a lot of lip gloss. So the less lip gloss you have, the less um, butterflies you want to add. And I wanted the butterflies to be very noticeable. And if you guys are wondering, does the butterflies get stuck on the syringe? No, it doesn't. These are the perfect butterfly sizes because the, the butterflies are so noticeable, but also very small. So no, it does not get stuck on the syringe. It comes out really well. And for flavoring, I'm going to be using strawberry, strawberry kiwi. Oh my god, I love this. I love this smell. It smells so good. And I honestly thought that it would fit with the color of the lip gloss. And I just added a few drops and then I start mixing again. Now you're just gonna go ahead and get your syringe and you're basically gonna suck in the lip gloss and once again the butterflies are not going to get stuck it's gonna go right up so i suggest sucking in the lip gloss instead of scooping it it's just a faster process easier and less messier so i suggest just sucking in the lip gloss and then you want to cut a pipette and basically you just want to attach it to the syringe and that way you can reach all the way to the bottom of the lip gloss tube. So I suggest doing this. So now I'm filling up the lip gloss tube and you do not want to go fast. You want to make sure that you are doing this with patience and very slowly because you do not want any bubbles at all. And yes, I did have a little bit of bubbles. It's okay. It's fine. It's normal. But I'm just saying like just make sure you don't do it as much. So this is why I'm applying the lip gloss very slowly. So I was getting sick and tired of the pipette because it kept falling off. So I was just using the squeeze method. And the squeeze method is you just apply lip gloss to the bottom, just like so. And then you squeeze. Why do you squeeze? Just to make sure that there is no bubbles and that it gets everywhere on the lip gloss tubes. And then you keep on filling up the tube all the way to the top and this is basically the squeeze method you can use this method without using a pipette and once again i just got tired of it because i had to keep taking it off 
to suck in back in more lip gloss and this is how it basically looks like and it looks beautiful just the same as if you're using a pipette And now we are finally done and these are the lip glosses with logos and everything and it says Elise which is my nickname and this is the final results of the lip glosses I honestly love them I love how the the butterflies just stand out and thank you for watching guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video